Hey guys, so recently one of our readers sent us a note wanting to know what the heck this drain tile business is in their house. So we thought we'd share that with you. Maybe you're curious about it or perhaps you've got water or moisture problems in your basement or if you're ready to start on a new home building project, you know, you might want to know of some ways to add redundancy to the system so you don't have these problems. So the purpose of your drain tile is to collect the water around the outside perimeter of your basement foundation and take it by gravity either to your sump crock where it can be pumped up and away from the house or if you've got a steep sloping lot you can run the drain tile out and daylight it by gravity out to the lower area where the lot slopes down. So where is your drain tile located in your home? Well, it runs around the entire perimeter of your basement foundation and is typically installed just below the footing. So let's take a look at our extremely high-tech dry erase board here. And uh, this is a cross-sectional view of your foundation wall, footing, and basement floor. So if we were to take the, your wall in your basement and cut it in half and look down through the basement wall, that's what we have here. So here's your foundation wall is here. This is your footing. Uh, concrete foot footing that actually spreads the weight of the house along amongst the soil and then here's your uh, concrete slab on the end so this is the inside of your basement here and then uh, this is going to be the outside where this where the dirt comes up against the wall here's your uh, the location of your drain tile which goes all the way along the outside edge of the footing just below it around the entire perimeter of your basement what that does is it collects the water and takes it to either the sump crock or it uh, daylights it out the back if you have a, a steep drop in grade in your backyard. So one best practice, um, this is how it's typically done with one on the outside. A best practice is to install some redundancy in the system and actually install a second drain tile pipe on the inside of the basement. So, and then, and then what we do is every eight feet we install a bleeder pipe through the footer uh, that, it, that basically will bypass any, any uh, crushes or clogged pipe along the entire perimeter of the house. So if one gets clogged or one gets uh, crushed, uh, it'll actually bypass that section and will still drain. The other thing we do is before we backfill, we actually put stone over top of, here's your uh, outside drain tile, and we put stone over top of that, uh, you know, gravel, uh, which will actually protect that pipe when we're when we're actually dumping material down into that area between you know the excavation and the foundation wall. We don't want to crush this pipe because if we don't we don't find out about it until later, it's going to be real expensive to fix. So we put that stone on top, and then most codes require a uh, piece of craft paper on top here, which actually uh, prevents the soil particles from migrating down and getting inside of that pipe. If it does get inside that pipe. We have a lot of problems. Uh, could could clog it, um, and uh, really the easiest way to take care of that, or I should say, there really is no easy way, is to dig up the soil and get back down to it and replace it. So, what are the different types of drain tile pipe? Well, we've got corrugated pipe, which has small slits in it to allow water to enter, but it deters large soil particles from getting inside the pipe. You can get a drain tile with a filter fabric around it to prevent small soil particles from getting into the pipe. This is a little more expensive, but it can pay off in the long run. You know, once the silt gets into the pipe and eventually clogs, your only option is typically to dig it up and unclog it, which is expensive and can get really messy. Another type of drain tile pipe has been around for years is the PVC pipe with holes in it. Basically, this pipe has holes on the bottom side, so when the pipe is installed, the holes should face down. This pipe is rigid, just like a typical PVC plumbing drain pipe, only with holes on one side. It takes a little longer to install than the corrugated pipe mentioned above, but it is less susceptible to being crushed, but it uh, does let more soil particles in, so it has more potential for clogging. If you have any window wells, you most likely have a vertical drain pipe that comes down from the window well and ties into the drain tile that goes around the foundation to drain that uh, small window well area so no water comes in through the window. So I hope this answers all your questions about drain tile guys. If you have any more or if you have any other issues or questions about your home or uh, repairs or building or remodeling projects, we hope you'll stop by and see us at armchairbuilder.com.